Hey guys, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. As you noticed, Terrence isn't here, so I had to mimic, I had to do my best impression of Terrence. But anyway, today we're gonna talk about the major changes coming to San Diego, and they might be coming sooner than you think. So stay tuned. We are the dream team here in San Diego. We help people relocate in and out of the city all year long. And if you're interested in getting more information or getting in contact with us, you're gonna see a pop-up come up right here. Call or text us, email us, don't be shy. Um, so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and we're gonna keep it rolling. All right, the first major change that we have is sports arena redevelopment. So this is something that's been in progress over the last 10 to 15 years where there have been developers who are really interested in taking down the Bachanga Arena, making homes, retail space, building a stadium for 16,000 people. They're gonna have numerous parks, so about 11 acres of parks. It's kind of interesting when you see the sports arena area right now, it seems really congested. So apparently they have 50 acres that they're gonna take and turn into this massive redevelopment that I think is gonna be very exciting for a lot of people, especially people who are looking for more homes because you know we all need it. We have apartment buildings. They also have affordable housing that's gonna be placed in there. Um, and then this is gonna have a huge impact to the surrounding areas. Hopefully that the freeways are gonna be expanded and there's gonna be ease of access because right now the Point Loma area can get very congested very quickly. I go to a gym over there, uh, it's called the EOS, and I'll tell you right now, it is not the easiest way to get into, especially during primetime traffic, so I'm hoping that they keep that in mind, but this Sports Arena redevelopment is a really exciting change, and it's one of the changes that's happened, I've talked about in the past, what they're doing with Mission Valley, with the golf, Riverwalk Golf Course development, where they're completely taking down this golf course and building more housing, more apartment buildings, and kind of making it a more walkable, um, area where you can ride your bikes, where you can enjoy the nature and enjoy the outside. And they're actually connecting the trolley system as well. So there are many different aspects to San Diego when it comes to redevelopment. And that's just one of the big changes coming soon. Now we have Otay Mesa. We're gonna go a little bit more south, closer to the border, where there is housing developments springing up all over the place. If you have explored San Diego, and if you, especially if you explored the southern region of San Diego, especially if you go closer to Otay Mesa, Otay Ranch, or East Lake, you'll know that there's a lot of developers like Lennar, TriPoint Homes, Cornerstone Communities. So right now, Cornerstone Communities has a project that's gonna happen in 20, late 2024 where they're gonna start selling these homes. They purchased 44 acres of land where they plan on making over 400 homes. And the thing is about Otay Mesa is that this is where all the raw available land is. So if you're looking for new construction that's gonna be relatively more affordable than the San Diego County average, this is gonna be a perfect area to take into account. Along that same line, the border, they're making a second entry point to the border. And the reason being is that a lot of companies are losing billions of dollars every single year just due to the wait time. So there's only one entry right now along that area and that entry is forever to get through. If you've ever been just across the border going to Rosarito, Ensenada, Tijuana, uh, you know that it can, it can take a little while unless you have the Century Pass. This second border entry is gonna be a toll road, so you're, you are gonna to have to pay, but they're gonna guarantee that you get through that border in 20 minutes, which is a huge drastic change. That change alone is gonna save companies $1.8 billion. So it's gonna provide that economic boost that they're looking for. Guys, if you're getting value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe and check us out. We produce videos twice a week, no longer once a week. We're giving you two videos. So I need you guys to come back to check out the next topic because you know it's gonna be fire. The third project that we have is the bigger picture project in Imperial Beach. In the year 2000, Imperial Beach went through a kind of a development plan to kind of reshape what Imperial Beach is, to attract more people, to bring in more money, to support their local businesses and make it just somewhere, an environment where it makes it more in, inviting for people to go and traverse along. 
So they're doing more infrastructure projects. They're going to switch out things that were old and replace it with the new. They're going to make it transit lanes. They're going to make it more walkable. So I think overall Imperial Beach is one of the most hidden gen communities in all of San Diego. And we're probably going to do a living in Imperial Beach so you can get familiar with the southern regions of San Diego. But this is probably the, considered one of the most affordable coastal cities in all of San Diego. Um, there is some issues with the runoff uh, from Tijuana going into the ocean, and that's a concern of a lot of people. But I think over time, they're going to find a solution or at least something to reduce that from happening. Um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Imperial Beach right now is the most underrated area. They have tons of homes that are relatively way more affordable than if you would find them in Point Loma, La Jolla, Carlsbad, Encinitas, Cardiff. Um, so if you're looking for a coastal community that has, that's expanding, that's growing, that's underrated, and that eventually is going to be that one sought out community, check out Imperial Beach. The fourth and the last project that I'm going to address, the major changes coming to San Diego, has already been in the making. And these are massive projects that are being done by developers. Um, so in Metro San Diego, Bankers Hill, Hillcrest, Mission Hills, North Park, you have these older commercial buildings, you have these older homes that have been around from the 60s and 70s, and the city needs more housing. So what they did essentially is they are giving these homes and commercial buildings located in these areas the ability to add more units. So you can, these developers are coming in, buying these properties, taking them down, and they're building apartment buildings. And I'm not talking about just a few units, I'm talking about 20, 30, 40, 50, over 100 units in, on some lots to provide that more housing. Now, there's two sides to the coin. Some people think that this change can be very harmful for, for suburb communities that you know, are very family oriented, um, that it's gonna destroy the local charm, which it, in some cases it might. Um, parking is already hor horrible as it is in some of these areas. I can attest to it. I've lived in North Park. I, vi I have visited friends in Bankers Hill and in Hillcrest and in Mission Hills. Um, and it can be one of those things that's really hard to justify. However, we do need the housing. So this is kind of going to be a personal preference. Like, is this something that you could see yourself living in? Or will you completely avoid these areas? I'd love to hear your guys' comments on what you guys think about these development projects that people are looking to do. Um, and I think over time, we're just gonna see the Metro San Diego area be less reliant on cars and more reliant on just getting around on foot and turn into kind of like a downtown area. So if you're noticing newer apartment buildings, newer condo buildings, that is what's going on. The city is encouraging more housing. And I think for the long term, it's not going anywhere. Guys, those are the major changes come into San Diego. And if you enjoyed this video, show me you enjoyed it by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. And if you're interested in moving to San Diego, get in touch with us, give us a call, text, or email, or set up a Zoom call with us where we can dive into your situation, kind of point you in the right direction, and set up a strategic plan. Terrence isn't here today, but we'll be back to our normal programming next week, and I'll catch you guys then.